This is the end result of using a motion capture animation and bringing it into UE5. But how did I get it to this point? Recorded from my wife's phone, you can see I don't have much of an official setup. My motion capture paths are traced out mostly with painter's tape. I'm currently adding some chalk lines for arcing paths, such as circles or leaning animations. To get an arc, I take a piece of string with one end held in place by the dumbbell that you see, and I take the other end and I secure a piece of chalk to it, and then I pull the string taut and trace out a path. With all the desired paths in place, I suit up, calibrate the suit, and begin walking. Because of my limited space, I can only capture walking motion right now. Once I get a set of walking animations completed, I'll begin looking for a place I can capture running animations. After recording multiple takes, I go through each one and export individual snippets. Here, I'm only showing one as an example. When exporting, I make sure I give an appropriate tile to the animation, and I also make sure I export using the default option. The Unreal option exports an XN's puppet with one less spine bone than the default, and I don't understand why. I bring the animation into UE4. Yes, UE4, not UE5. I had many issues directly retargeting the animation from the XSense puppet to the UE5 Manny, so now I take a roundabout approach. First, I retarget to the UE4 mannequin. With that in mind, I check that the animation looks fine on the XSense puppet. It does, so I go on to the retarget manager, set the rig to humanoid, and set all the target bones based on the source, which the source is the UE4 mannequin. I appreciate Gabby, who goes by Feeding Wolves, who offered direct help on her Discord, providing advice as well as the bone remap and the appropriate XSense puppet resource to use. Next, I show the retargeting options, but contrary to the standard approach, I keep everything set to animation, as suggested by Feeding Wolves. Then I go into the UE4 mannequin skeleton, open the retargeting manager, set the rig to humanoid, and allow Unreal to populate everything automatically. I go to the skeleton tree, enable the retargeting options, set the root to animation, pelvis to animation relative, and the rest to skeleton, except for the legs, which I also set to animation. I then retarget the imported animation, and the animation looks good, at least good enough. I export the new animation and import it into a UE5 project. Again, I briefly check the animation, it looks fine. I use the UE4 IK rig that comes with the default third person project, and I also use the UE5 IK rig that comes with the default third person project. In the UE4 skeleton, I enable the retargeting options, set the root to animation, the pelvis to animation scaled, and everything else to skeleton. Similarly, in the UE5 skeleton, I set the root to animation, the pelvis to animation scaled, and everything else to skeleton. In the default IK retargeter that comes with any third person project, I have both retargeting poses as T poses, which you can accomplish by importing pose assets for the source, and the target, skeletons. As the animation plays, you can see there is minimal foot sliding, and there is no visible foot-to-ground mushiness, which was an issue I had when attempting to retarget directly from the XSense puppet to the UE4 Manny. I retarget the animation, I check it, then I export it so I can import it into Cascadour, where I will make my final edits. In about 30 minutes, I finalized a draft of a forward walk cycle. And then I bring the animation into UE5 to check the final result. Notice, notice I have the foot root lock enabled, which is why the character seems to be walking in place. And there you have it. That is the process I use for bringing a motion captured animation into the Unreal Engine and retargeted to the Unreal Engine 5 Manny.